we finally got an update for Red Dead Redemption's summer update that's releasing soon and the news is that's going around on social media is that it's releasing soon from as early as next week to July 6th so you may, you guys have a couple weeks to get prepared if you're not prepared already but um What's going on here, squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all luxury, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. I did that all from memory this time. <laughs> I'm proud of myself, okay? Um, <laughs> uh, this is the video for the daily cycle updates and as i say each and every video smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way and if you're watching just browsing just checking out the cycles just checking out the channel just checking out me in general make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get each and every video that i put out because i put out videos each and every day uh, if you want to know Madame Lazar's location any bit earlier than this video, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I do try to post her location there as soon as she switched. Sometimes that doesn't go. Sometimes the day just gets to me and I end up sleeping around that time. So please be patient with me. I am human. Um... If you do follow me on Instagram and Twitter, there will be any updates to the channel, Madam Nazar's location. I do share the link to this video on on Twitter, um, and I'll, I'll may maybe do more. Maybe that's where I'll do like um, any type of giveaways or whatever. I'll try to you know incorporate Twitter or Instagram for any type of giveaways or something like that. I don't know. But follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HitmanMiyagiYT. How to spell that will be in your bottom left-hand corner of the screen. If you guys want to do any type of giveaways, like at me or something like that, message down in one of my comments or something like that on Instagram or Twitter. Let me know if, if I should try to incorporate things. You know? I don't know. Anywho, let's get to the, to the nitty-gritty what we're down here or what we're here for the um, first thing I want to get to is Madame Nazar's location which I actually did go to her today <laughs> she's down here near McFarland's Ranch Still Creek Water or Stillwater Creek or Crick uh, Thieves Landing in Manteca Falls she's around here in this area right here and she will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know or not of America. How I get to her when she's personally, well, how I personally get to her when she's in this spot is I simply fast travel to McFarland's Ranch. That should put you around here in this area right here. Simply when you spawn, take the train tracks down to her location. When you see this little bend going up, just keep going straight. She's right there. You should see her by the time you get maybe here. So that's just a little, that's what I do. Um, other than that, let's get to the next thing, which is, is the Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle. There's a couple things over here I wanted to tell you about that's with this antique alcohol bottle. But the Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle is right outside of Van Horn. Right here at this location of my waypoint, there's also a couple things around this little area. Like, uh, right here at the waypoint, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Right there at that location, there's the antique alcohol bottle. This is a Caribbean rum bottle. It's on a viewing platform. So, there's a ladder going up, and there's a platform. There's another ladder going up, 
and there's another another platform at the very top that's where you will find your Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle and about right here if you see if you can see that it looks like a little eye right in the middle of that eye that's right there there's a stone eye there's a Pele pearl necklace that's inside this eye so go and get that as well you don't need a metal detector or anything you just grab it out of the little eye hole it's a stone eye <laughs> I feel like I keep saying the same thing anywho uh, right here in this backyard next to the shed this right here right here at this location you guys will get a ivory hairpin if you go over this way it's a dig spot you don't need your metal detectors you just need your shovel and over here I say about right here there's a spot for a random arrowhead so come over here with your metal detector and that's what you will get a random arrowhead there are there's also a card inside this building I, I do not know what card it is but it's inside this building uh, on the shelf basement floor uh, anywho, let's get down here to where we normally do business, which is the Lemoyne area of the map. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit more. We'll go back up to the top and get those later. But the cycles for today, Thursday, June 24th, are Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Azuri Cycle 3, Coin Cycle 1, Arrowhead Cycle 4, Wildflower Cycle 5, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 5, all tarot card cycle four, bird egg cycle five, and fossils cycle two. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel, just in case you guys don't see it in the left hand corner of your screen. <laughs> anyway, let's get to these things that we will find the map real quick. I don't want to say real quick, but kind of quick. Over here, there's two things over here in this area. Right here at this marker, there's a antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a scotch whiskey bottle. It's in a little rock, like a stack of rocks. When you go in front of the stack of rocks, you're, you will get a prompt to search the rocks. And you'll pull out a scotch whiskey antique alcohol bottle. Over here, also, there's right about here. There's a dig spot. This dig spot is a metal hairpin. Go and grab that as well. Uh, inside this house, right here at the, at the H of Marsh, there's a tortoise shell comb, which is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is in a house on the wash table. That's on the other side of the, the dinner table. Right here at this location, you guys will get at a, uh, this location of our next marker, you guys will get a random fossil. So come over here with your metal detector, and that's what you will dig up. There's also something right here, which I think is a, a random item. So if you do come over here a little bit with your metal detector, you will get a, another item, which I cannot tell you what it is. It's a random item. It's a random dig item. So come over here with your metal detector, and that's what you will get. Uh, let's go all the way to the other side of the map with where our other marker is right here at this location you guys will get a random coin i cannot tell you guys what coin it is but come over here with your metal detector and shovel and that's what you will get a random coin there's also a couple things over here like right at this location there is a, a random arrowhead um right here on there's a crack at the bottom of this building right there in between the ground in like in that crack there is a lost jury which is a columet turquoise earring and on this porch there is a tear card which is a eight of cups tear card um I, feel, I don't want to tell you guys so much that you guys are overloaded with information which i feel like that's impossible but inside this house on the right hand side where all the candles are there's a King of Swords tarot card on the right side. Um, let's go right here to our next marker, which is a bird egg. This bird egg is a egret egg, E-G-R-E-T. It's in a tree, so shoot it down with a rhyming rifle or a bow. 
using a small game arrow make sure you guys pay attention to these very small faint lines that's in, in the map as well right about here on the side of side of this big old shack that's over here you guys will oh it's not there's a it's not there i thought it was here it's right here right here at this location come over here with your metal detector and you guys will get a random luxury is next to a couple trees and I think a grave or two. So come over here at this location. Make sure you look for those things, the, the trees and the graves. Come over here with your metal detector and you will get a random lost jury. Uh, let's go up and over the water to this location right here. This inside this mansion right here at this location of this marker. You guys will get a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a ebony hairpin. This ebony hairpin is on a three-seater bench inside the house and to the right as soon as you walk in right about here there's a piano and on that piano you guys will get a tarot card which is a three of pentacles so go get that as well why not uh if you guys just happen to want to go inside the cemetery there's a tarot card here i cannot remember what tarot card that is so i apologize for that there's also a tarot card here right here at this location and this next marker is a tarot card as well this tarot card is a four of cups it's on a box near a fountain with a light there's a fountain with a light like right there and the card is right there uh let's see what else we have for you guys let's go right here at this next marker which is a random lost jury this random lost jury is Right here at this location in a pile of trash, there's a broken wagon wheel or broken wagon around the location, but come right here with your metal detector and that's what you will get a random lost jury. Let's go down to our next two markers, which this marker that's on the railroad, this is in the second cart. So you have to jump on the first cart, which is right about here and jump into the second cart, which is where our waypoint or our marker is. And inside that second cart, you guys will get a antique alcohol bottle, which is a London dry gin bottle. It's in one of the corners, so make sure you look for it. Right here, that's, this is under the railroad and over a little bit. Right here on this little island, you guys will get a, a cardinal flower. This cardinal flower spawns over here in this area each and every day, and it helps me personally indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on, which today... Is cycle five right here at our the location that we are on the location of our next marker you guys will get a random arrowhead this arrowhead is right by a large tree so come over here by this large tree with your meta detector and that's what you will get a random arrowhead um there's a couple things i want to tell you guys about which up here on this back porch deck you guys will get a new guinea rose with hairbrush is on the table and inside the Braithwaite Manor home right here on the second floor in the room with the chest at the foot of the bed you guys will get a cherry wood cone and right here and up here at our next marker which might yeah, it is our last marker it's not our last item but it is our last marker this is this item right here is a coin, a random coin. I cannot tell you guys what coin it is, but there's a dead tree, like still in the ground, still sticking up. Go around that tree with your metal detector and that's what you will get, a random coin. Uh, let's go over right here, next, kinda next to the sheriff station. This is the sheriff station. There's a house here and there's a table right here where this waypoint is. On that table, you guys will get a six of cups tarot card and inside this little side room of this house you guys will get another tarot card which is a nine of pentacles i have two more things for you guys which up here right here right by this log come over here with your metal detector and you guys will get a random lost jury there's also a random item spot here so come over here with your metal detector once again and you'll get another random item 
I cannot tell you what category or what cycle the item is, but it's a random item. Uh, inside this house right here, I'm guessing in the tall wardrobe, which, yes, is in the green tall, tall green wardrobe. As soon as you go through the door, straight ahead, there's an ebony hairbrush inside that tall green wardrobe, so go get that as well. That's pretty much it for all the extras that I have for you guys. Uh, hopefully you can you can follow along and see everything or find everything if not just pause and play as you go remember to do your cycle so you can be prepared for the summer update that's coming out within the next couple weeks if it's not next week it'll be sometime within the next two it like next week Tuesday then the week after that Tuesday and the week after that Tuesday <laughs> make sure you guys pay attention and all that stuff i will update you guys i will go live and all that other stuff when it does come in or the morning of um anywho the cycles for today thursday june 24th are once again family heirloom cycle three all of Zuri cycle three coin cycle one arrowhead cycle four wildflower cycle five antique alcohol bottle cycle five all tarot card cycle four wild uh, bird egg cycle five and fossil cycle two once again family heirloom cycle three all of Zuri cycle three coin cycle one arrowhead cycle four wildflower cycle five antique alcohol bottle cycle five all tarot card cycle four bird egg cycle five and fossils cycle two <laughs> thank you guys for wa watching looking listening liking sharing commenting uh, subscribing and everything else you, you do or have done for the channel. I do appreciate you guys very, very much. It is your main man, Hitman. And as I say each and every video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos each and every day. And remember to keep an eye out for the live streams for Red Dead Redemption and any other game that I go live on. I've been playing Grand Theft Auto and I feel like nobody wants to see just me randomly running around on Grand Theft Auto all day. So I haven't did any live streams or anything like that. But keep an eye out for me because when I do go live, maybe it'll be something to laugh at or something like that. <laughs> Who knows? I have some uh, very funny characters that I hang around or hang, uh, and we hang around each other. So, um, yeah. It's your main man here, man, once again, and I'm out.